Hey guys, I've got a review today. I'm gonna try some items, hair color from Beijing. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna check and see. As you can see, I have four B, four C hair, tightly coiled, hawked, cut hair, natural hair, but this has this is color. And I just like color. I just think it pops my face. I just like to have a little fun with color. Just recently started doing that. But anyway, they've been gracious to send me some colors to try and I think I chose one of these and then they sent me another one as well. So this is the medium chestnut, no, medium chestnut number 47 and then this one is the golden brown number 26. Here are the two boxes. I'm going to go for the uh, medium chestnut. I think that's what I'm going to go for, number 47. Also have the deep conditioner here. It's for color treated hair, smooths and shines instantly or oh, it has um sunflower oil in it which is kind of cool hopefully you know with um my hair is a little more porous it means that it uh doesn't hold water very well i've got to put a lot a lot of water to make it saturate get in there deep so again i'm going for the i don't know maybe i want to go with the lightest color possible so i think the lightest color possible is the 26 the golden brown i don't know guys we'll see um, but let's see what the instructions say. I have, I have my glasses on. Let's see what it says. It says, um, what contains inside is colored powder, gloves, trays, and instructions. Okay? So that's what we got. And this is a no ammonia, just mixed with plain water. No ammonia, just mixed with plain water. Simple enough, right? This is permanent color. I'm sorry, it says permanent powder hair color, right? All right, cool beans. It sounds easy. All right, we're going to do this. I think, I don't know, would medium chestnut be? This looks lighter, so I'm going with the golden brown. Going with the golden brown. So I'm going to open the box up, and let's see what is inside. The golden brown, right? Okay, here we go. Let's open it. I feel like a kid at Christmas. I'm excited. I can't wait to get my new color. Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is what it looks like when it comes out the box, like this. The instructions. The gloves. And here's the tray with the color. It says just add water, right? So here we go. Hmm. All right. So let's see if there's any more details I need to know. Um, You know, there's... Before instruction, this is it in English. All the instructions. Uh, it just tells you all the preliminaries. If you have allergies, keep out of reach to children. Um, do a preliminary skin test 48 hours before each application. Um, do not use product over metallic dyes or henna. Interesting to know. Um, this is product exclusively for to color hair on the head color hair on the head only. Um, never use this product to tattoo body skin. Interesting. Okay, so that's some of the things there. Okay, I think we got that. All right, how to use. Before, how to use. Boom, they're telling you step by step. Okay, so it says, hmm, how to use. Complete the pre preliminary skin test. Wear, suit of, wear the gloves. Cover shoulders with towel and cap. Prevent staining, apply cold cream around the ears and hairline and nape of neck. Okay. Damp paper towel to wipe away the uh, wipe skin of hair color gets on it. Okay, enough preparation. Pour Beijing powder into non-metallic bowl. Okay, I guess that's the bowl we have here. Yes, okay. Pour into non-metallic bowl or cup. Add room temperature, tap, water. It says do not use hot or boiling water. Okay. Mix well with a brush to make smooth consistency. Okay. That's easy, that's easy enough. Right here. It looks like they give you a little sample. So you just follow the instructions. All right. So it said for one bottle, fill water to full. Oh, got it. Boom, boom, boom. So on the tray... You see the little ridges? So I'm going up there with my water, and then I'll pour my powder in there and mix it well together. 
sounds simple, right? We can do this. We can do this. We've got this. And then quickly apply mixture on dry hair. Okay, let's get it. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to show you the mixture. Okay, guys, this is the second part. So I've got my water. I filled it up to the top, to the ridge, where it told me in the, the little container that comes in the box. Got that there. And then I have my 26, my little bottle here. Okay. And then you're supposed to take the cap off, of course. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. And then it's got another seal inside there. Take that off. Excuse my nails. You know my nails look raggedy. I'm sorry. I haven't been get this pedicure manicure yet. Okay, and then they say you just pour it in. Right? It's a powder. Boom. Oh, shoot. There's a lot in there. Okay. Still coming. Still coming. All right. I think I got it. All right. So it says to stir. And let's do that. Okay. Huh. Maybe I should have poured it in a little slower. Yuck. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this neatly without spilling everything. Okay. Stirring. Okay. So I'm going to try and stir this all up and do it in a neat manner. And I'm going to come back and show you once I have it all stirred up. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, reading is fundamental. So remember I showed you to, to, I poured it in here. So what I was supposed to do really was just have the water in here, pour it into a plastic container, and then pour in my mixture. So I found a little plastic cup that I have. And so I mixed it up. And so this is what it looks like. It looks like kind of like cake mix. So I got it all mixed up. And again, this is the color I'm doing. I'm doing the golden brown. And it is a permanent powder hair color by, by Jean. Golden Brown number 26. So I mixed it all up. Boom, this is what I've got. I've got my gloves in hand. And so now it's time to apply. So I'm just gonna dip my hand in the cup and get the stuff out of there. I used a plastic cup, I mean a plastic spoon for the mixture. Put on my gloves and let's get to it. Let's get some color going. And I don't think there's any, it didn't say any particular way. Let me read the instructions again because I didn't read them right the first time. Um, it says mix well, it says mix well, well with a brush. Uh oh, I didn't do a brush, I did a comb. Um, make a smooth consistency. Uh, application, quickly apply the mixture on dry hair. Comb through hair to ensure hair strand is thoroughly covered with the mixture. Okay, do I have a comb? Hold on got a big comb because I've got some coarse 4B, 4C hair to go through. So let's do it. We've got the mixture. I'm supposed to do it with a brush. I didn't have a brush, so I used a spoon. But I think I'll be okay. There's no particular way to do this. I'm going to take my glasses off so I don't get my glasses off. And I'm going to put a little cover over me so I don't get it on my shirt. This is just an old t-shirt that I ripped up. And this is what I'm also going to use to dry my hair. I try not to use regular towels on my hair, the natural hair. My tip is if you have an old t-shirt or something like that, cut it up and use that how to dry your hair. Okay, so I've just got the mixture on my fingers. And I'm just going to go through and see what happens. I want to hit these little areas here, you guys, because I have a mirror I'm going to look at. Um, the grays are popping. And so just add a little color. Since my hair is so short on the sides and this is looking kind of dark and honestly I didn't want to go dark I wanted to go lighter but we'll see what happens uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh got it okay got to be more careful so we're gonna see how this color is gonna come out because I already have color on top of color so as you see got a, quite a bit of mixture there color and I'm just going to apply haphazardly. There's no formation to this. I have no structure. Do you guys use color on your hair? Any natural hair ladies out there? Do you use color on your natural hair? For me, using color on my natural hair would loosen my pattern as well. Um, 
and that can be a good or a bad thing whatever is your liking but that's just a warning that if you do use some color more than likely your hair pattern your curl pattern may change and look I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty and I haven't hit the side yet so let me slap some on the side thank goodness for long short hair huh but I guess if I had a brush and if I had longer hair I probably would be more strategic with the hair color but for me I really wanted to you know kind of uh, hit on that great those grays so there you have it I didn't get too much of the front edge here right around the edges try not to get it on my skin and I didn't get hardly any in the back it doesn't appear but it's all gone all gone okay uh, oh I forgot to see how long it lasts how long I'm supposed to keep it on okay let's see let's read the instructions again uh, this is gonna be tricky with my glasses um, let's see <laughs> it says apply mixture non chemical treated hair 20 to 30 minutes non chemical treated hair 20 to 30 minutes so you guys I will be back in 30 minutes. Is that on my skin? Let's see. Let's get that off my skin. Okay. So we've got it through. This again is the golden brown. We'll see how golden brown it turned out. Number 26 with Beijing. Um, this is the permanent powder. Permanent powder. All right. So I'll be back again. After 30 minutes, it says for non-chemically treated hair, 20 to 30. Since I have 4B, 4C kind of hair, um, I think I have pretty strong hair. So I'm going to go and just uh, kind of rub this in a little more. Give a, show you a little closer what it looks like. Okay. What it's doing, I'm just rubbing that color in. Trying to take it all the way to the roots all the way to the roots and the back and my sides and okay so I will be back in 30 minutes and show you the next step okay okay guys it's been about 30 minutes remember I'm doing the Beijing number 26 golden brown but I think on my hair it has gone almost pretty black I remember I had color on my hair. I had a golden kind of bronzy colored hair, reddish tint. But I put it with this and it looks like it went pretty black. So I haven't had black hair in a while. So why not? But remember I talked about how your pattern will change. It will change by, for me, loosening my pattern, my curl pattern. So this is what it's looking like after 30 minutes of the dye. And my hair feels pretty, almost dry. Um, so I'm going to rinse this out. But I just wanted you guys to see before I shampoo what the color looks like. Let me get a little closer. So you can see and see how the curl pattern has changed. It's a lot looser. So I'm going to wash, shampoo my hair. And then uh, the Beijing comes with a deep conditioner so I'm definitely going to use this because I don't want my hair to get dried out one thing when you use color in your hair you definitely want to keep the natural hair as moist as possible and moisturized deep condition all that sort of thing when you have color on your hair so I am going to wash this out put in the conditioner and all that and then I will be back and you can see it tie dot tie dried there we go okay under the shower I go. Bye. Okay guys, just shampooed the hair. This is what it looks like. It is black. Yeah, I've gone to totally black hair now. Okay, not bad. I kind of haven't seen black in a while. I want to show you what it's done to my hair pattern. So the next step with the Beijing hair dye is the deep conditioner that comes with it. Okay, it says deep conditioner and this one says with the uh, for color treated hair, smooths and shines instantly. And it, really interesting in the back, I want to read to you what it says here. It says that um, for 
centuries, Japanese women have known uh, that rice water kept their hair healthy, strong, and shiny. Interesting, huh? Can you see? See? I'm reading here. Um, and so this contains ingredient, uh, contains rice water active ingredient with sunflower seed oil to help protect and repair color treated, chemically processed or damaged hair. This deep conditioner formula penetrates and repairs dull, dry hair. Dull, dry hair. Okay. Um, and it helps revitalize from root to end and leaves hair soft, shiny, and manageable. Helps to moisturize hair damaged by chemicals as well. Um, and then it says the usage after you shampoo, um, you apply a generous amount and distribute evenly with a wide tooth comb. Place plastic cap over hair and sit under a warm dryer for 10 minutes or 15 minutes with a plastic cap. Rinse thoroughly and gently towel dry style as usual. Let me show this to you again. So if you've got chemically treated hair that may be damaged, you're really looking for shiny, healthy hair, this is stating it can help you with this. And they're saying it's an old Japanese ingredient, the sunflower seed oil, sunflower seed oil. So that's what this contains as well, as you can see there. Snapshot it, uh, screenshot it. You want to purchase this, pick this up. I believe you can find this at CVS, Walmart, Beijing, pretty popular. Uh, beauty supply stores carry them as well. So I'm going to rip this open and generously apply because I just shampooed my hair. Um... After dyeing it, and this is what it looks like. Wow, I got it on my forehead. This is what it looks like. Can you see? Sorry, that light's kind of blaring. There we go. So it's kind of mm, a light brown hair color. So it's really important that you deep conditioner, especially for anybody, especially if you use color. And being a natural hair woman and wearing color. Having 4B, 4C hair texture, it's pretty important that we get all the moisture that we can get. In particular, the woman that has the hair texture that I just said, the 4B, 4C, the more, oh wow, got it everywhere, don't I, on my face. The more uh, porous, harder to penetrate with moistures, uh, like water, I spray my hair all the time with water and I generally keep a water bottle around with oil in it, water and oil mixture for my hair because my hair is dry, I like, I like color and so I often wear color which helps to even add more issues of dryness so we want to keep our hair looking healthy and shiny and moisturized so I love that Beijing is saying that they have that added ingredient of the sunflower oil. Love it, love it, love it. So let's see how it works. I don't have a hooded dryer, um, but I do have a plastic cap I'm going to put on and sit around in that plastic cap with my deep conditioner. And I think I've got it pretty much all the way through my hair. Make it penetrate everywhere. I've got it on my forehead as well. Okay, it's there, it's there. Run my fingers through it. You guys, this is what we call shrinkage because look at how the length I have here. And then when it dries, it looks like a mini fro. But that's the beauty and the magic of natural hair. Right? You just got to embrace it. You can stretch as much as you want. But it's always going to come back to the shrinkage. The S word. Okay, so I've got my, my Beijing sunflower secret recipe, deep conditioner in. I'm gonna find, look at the ring, the curl pattern, as you can see, after I did my hair dye and have my moisturizer in there, my um, deep conditioner in, this is what it looks like. Oh, boop, boop. Okay, I'm gonna find a plastic bag and I'll put that on and I'm gonna sit around for maybe an hour or so, rinse that out, and then I'll be back. Oh, my hands are all yucky. Hold on, use my cloth. Okay, you guys, I have washed out my deep conditioner that we have here, the sunflower oil 
that Beijing offers after you dye your hair. And my hair feels really, really soft. I put a bag over it, had it had sat around for about an hour with the bag and the deep conditioner on. Just rinsed it out and this is the final results. My hair is really quite, it looks jet black to me. It really does. And this is what I use the Beijing this color which is the number 26. It's supposed to be the golden brown. But you know what, you guys? I have to be honest. I already had color on my hair. I had already lightened my hair to a nice um, light colored brown with some blonde little highlights in it. So I think the combination of the color I already had, then adding this color with it, caused it to turn black, which I'm not adverse to. I haven't had black in a while, and it's just something different. A different look for me so um, that is the review on Beijing their conditioner is really the truth it really did make my natural hair the 4B 4C um, texture that I have really very soft and it feels very moisturized right now I'm still gonna put in another leave-in conditioner after this um, and it was pretty quick and easy it's just water and a powder that you stir up that you that's it put it on Leave it on for 30 minutes and boom, you're done. Um, I just can't get a really true reading of the color, I guess, honestly, because of the color I had on before. So I will, after, it says this should last for about four to six weeks, Beijing, um, four to six weeks, and you should start seeing um, the color just maybe start to fade. And this is really, Beijing's really about covering the gray areas. So if you have gray, I would highly I would recommend this to hide gray because I have gray streaks all throughout my hair. But as you see now, there is no gray popping through. No gray. So I'll let you know in four to six weeks how the grays are looking. But today, this is the process for the Beijing. I give it thumbs up. Yeah. Took care of the gray. Didn't know it would turn my hair black, but... I had previous color. Just that's my disclaimer. And the process was really easy. They give you a water container with the different levels on it. They give you the mixed powder. You pour it in the water. You mix it up. Then you just apply. Leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Rinse that out. Use your shampoo. Put in their conditioner. Love the conditioner. Rinse that out. And then you go and do your natural styling that you would do with your hair. So that is it. TB Style Works out for you guys. Again, a review on Beijing. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Boom, there we go. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.